in medical treatment, patients turning to crowdfunding to save their own lives. Many of them turning to the internet to pick up where their health insurance falls short. News 6 investigator Lewis Bolden joins us in studio with how this is getting results. Well, Matt and Lisa, it is happening more and more. Either medical insurance doesn't cover it or it doesn't cover all of it. But people like Walt Parks are finding a way to get the treatment they need. 65-year-old Walt Park's entire life is about fitness. As a certified massage therapist and a group fitness instructor, he is the picture of good health, which is why getting a prostate cancer diagnosis was devastating. It was a shock when I went to the doctor for my physical and they told me that my PSA was 6.4. And I thought, wait a minute. How can I have cancer? Parks and his oncologist decided the best treatment for him would be high intensity focused ultrasound, also known as high foo. It was just approved by the FDA last year and being so new, the $25,000 treatment was not covered by his insurance. It tears you up. <laughs> it really does. It's like, here, here's an answer. Here's something that, that I feel is just what I need and then I can't afford it. Park's friend and son talked him into creating a GoFundMe page. At first, he was reluctant. And you had given to people yeah. <laughs> on GoFundMe before, but yeah. you had a problem signing up yourself. It's like, I could help others, but I didn't really want to ask anyone to help me. More and more people are turning to crowdfunding to help foot the bill where medical insurance is falling short. In fact, medical fundraising is the top category on the GoFundMe site, followed by memorial and charity fundraising. But Park says asking for help was difficult. I am just laying everything out and say, here I am. I have cancer, I need treated, and I need help. And he got help. In just over two months, he raised $20,000 from about 180 donations. GoFundMe says 99% of its donations are less than $1,000, making it feasible for people to give what they can. But Park says it was more than the money. It was also the positive affirmations that came with it. Parks had the treatment, is back to work, and is now approaching nine months cancer-free. And GoFundMe worked for me. Yeah. And I know it works for a, num a, a number of other people. GoFundMe has tips for how to make a successful campaign. They say give a description of the medical issue, details of the treatment and estimated costs, and they say write from the heart. Now, there are critics of the crowdfunding trend. They say people should not consider it a digital safety net because not everyone has a su successful campaign. Lisa? Well, glad everything worked out for him. Lewis, yeah. thank you. Yeah, we are.